watu wengi walikuwa hapa wengi sana lakini leo asubuhi wameenda kuzika hiyo kijana hapa kwa sisi hiyo serikali ya Ethiopia unaitu hii ya Degi hawa sio serikali hiyo hawa ni shipta iko nguvu hawa ni sisi naenda biashara yetu ile watu naenda biashara yetu mwingine nafungua suka yake anausa mwingine hoteli watu nakula chakula anaingia hoteli anapiga na bunduki na balisa in Kenya the first impact has been felt at the border town of Moyale the number of asylum seekers trooping here is overwhelming it is a crisis in the making and who are firing at us is the government itself so we don't we don't have any security and our solution is to across to this our neighboring country Kenya that we feel secure Kenyan authorities are now concerned the influx at the border town of Moyale is appalling over 10,000 asylum seekers are already in Kenya three main camps have been set up at Somare Sesi and Sololo in Moyale to accommodate those fleeing the conflict two people have reportedly died at the Somare camp due to hunger one of them a pregnant woman sasa wale waliporudi wengine wakawamaliza maiti iko ndani ya kambi ya jeshi sasa juzi mzee wa wa borana wakakuja wakaomba maiti kadhaa wakaweza kuzika the situation in somare is uh, pathetic it's very congested uh, we are concerned uh, there might be some outbreak but we've we've discussed with the local leadership and the people the partners who are helping in this process so that they can be relocated to uh, some uh, more open ground so that services can be offered most of these who've trekked all the way are mothers and children they rely on donations for survival and even when food is brought here it is barely enough to cater for everyone this is a fight for survival it's a hazard we are stepping on it's a, something about to blow up because there are no ablution facilities water is not treated despite the fact that the county government is struggling to ensure that they get water the water immediately it arrives with a water boozer is put into a tank and the community immediately start drawing it Somare primary school is located at the borderline it is serves both Kenyans and Ethiopians and every time bullets are fired the sound of gunfire disturbs the peace here the head teacher is a worried man wengi watoto wanatoka kwa sasa upande wa Ethiopia kwa sasa wale wanakuja ni wa wachache idadi imepungua e, zamani huwa tunakuja mapema shule lakini kwa sababu kila wakati tunakuta hawa watu umilisha kutoka huko wakiwa kwa boda kwa hivyo kuja kwetu hata sisi hatukuji vile tunakuja mapema sababu tunaogopa hawa people have chilling accounts of the stalemate tunasikia bunduki hatuwezi kaa hapo tunadhani kama wanafika hapo ama risasi yao inaweza fika hapo we are not comfortable in this school because of that war humanitarian assistance has been channeled to the camps through the county government of Marsabit the Kenya Red Cross and UN affiliated bodies but even so the temporary assistance cannot match the ballooning number of immigrants making their way here this young man is a victim of the Oromo military confrontations. He was shot on the leg allegedly by the military, now nursing the wounds right from these dilapidated conditions. It is raining in Moyale and there are fears of outbreak of waterborne diseases. We are concerned uh, there might be some outbreak but we've we've discussed with the local leadership and the people the partners who are helping in this process so that they can be relocated to uh, some uh, more open ground so that services can be offered. Competition for power and resources at the federal level has taken place along ethnic lines and much of the violence that has rocked the country
has been tied to disputes between groups within the ruling party, leaving Ethiopia firmly on the slippery path of a balkanized ethnic setup. Kenya cannot afford to host you know, refugees. They have enough burden. Kenya, as we speak now, they're hosting more than 600,000 refugees from Somalia. Again, they, if they host another similar number, the border between Ethiopia and Kenya, Kenya cannot afford to do that. These are the same people. They live on either side of the border, right? And, uh, you know, supporting these people is both our responsibility as a county government and also, uh, as they say, one good deed deserves another. Uh, whenever we have problems, they take care of us. You recall in 2013, we had a lot of people who had uh, moved across into Ethiopia from Moyale. Thousands of our people. Remember that clash? And they hosted our people. Despite the magnitude of the occurrences, media reports on the growing crisis in Ethiopia has been measured and often offered in little doses. The media environment in Ethiopia is regarded one of the most restrictive in the region. Currently, a dozen journalists remain in jail, charged with terrorism and inciting violence. The discussion about Ethiopia has moved from the streets to online platforms. Youthful protesters from local universities in Ethiopia, from the Oromo tribe, referred here as Kero in the Oromo language, are leading the online campaign. The country is trying to catch the world's attention. <laughs> Top athletes from the country have staged this at World Championships just to draw the world's attention that all is not well in Ethiopia. In recent weeks, Ethiopia has released hundreds of prisoners, including opposition politicians, but the protests have shown no sign of ending. The crisis has opened doors for illegal smuggling of immigrants. Kenya is a preferred destination for this group of people and at times a conduit to other destinations. South Africa has been in the cards for those fleeing their motherland. The last few weeks, Kenya has deported hundreds of Ethiopians from our capital Nairobi. The operators have taken advantage of the porous border and corrupt police officers to ferry as many people as possible. The inside source witnessed the arrest and deportation of hundreds of Ethiopians at Nairobi's Pangani police station. One of the immigrants agreed to talk to us. 